Hi, this is Tom, and welcome back to another video from Bryn Mawr RC. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to talk about my first hobby level RC car I ever purchased, which is the which is the Tamiya Rover Mini Cooper Racing. This is on a uh, M03 chassis. And what you see here is the M03 body that came with the kit. When I originally painted this, um, I used the incorrect paint, incorrect paint for the green on the inside. The white is correct. The green is incorrect. This is not polycarbonate paint. It's standard uh, plastics paint. And this is why I have so much chipping and flaking away of the green paint. So I've, I've considered about what I can do to fix that. I don't really want to go in here and use solvents or anything to clean this out, scrape it out, what have you. And I don't really want to buy another body. These bodies are hard to find and they are expensive and I am cheap. So what I've decided to do was to fix this a little bit in a way that will still make it look like an old car, but um, but but won't have this see-through look down here. So what I plan on doing is the outside on the top, since there are no decals here, I'm going to clean this up as best as I can. Um, mask it off, and then spray a new layer on the outside. Spray layers of uh, PS, PS1, I think it's called, uh, or regular old white, Tamiya white, on the outside here. And then uh, on the inside, I plan on masking, I plan on masking this from this ledge, if you will, effectively the belt line, a mask around the belt line of the car, and spray on the, and, and then mask the outside as well, since there's no protectant, and then spray in here something that will, is going to make it look like this car is just rusting away. Um, so I think I want to do that with a mixture of to me a PS41 and possibly a little mixture of this uh, dark earth. Now this is technically not a polycarbonate paint. It's a it's AS paint, which let me look. I don't know what AS stands for. I honestly don't know what AS stands for here. So it's not polycarbonate paint, but I'm not going to worry about this too much because this body is not going to be used. Uh, it's not going to be used out in the real world. This effectively will just end up being a shelf car. Um, so I'm glad you joined me. Let's get right into it. I wanted to start on this project on the outside. And typically before you paint, you would wash the body really well with some sort of grease cutting soap. For this particular activity, I don't really want to. And one of the reasons is there are decals on the outside of here. And some of these decals have seen a little better time. And I actually don't want to get them wet. So I'm going to clean just this top area without getting the entire body wet. Here we go, let's give it a try. Let's see how much grunge we get off. <laughs> We're gonna get any fluid out of here. And if this paint job doesn't come out perfect, which it probably isn't going to, that's fine. I, I just wanted to make it look a little bit better as it sits on the shelf. Um, 
for example, some of this paint that's flaked away up here, as that is above the belt line, I'm not going to actually even attempt uh, to paint that. But the vast majority of this stuff down here, I will. Okay. I think that's good. Let's move on to masking. Moving on to masking, I'm going to uh, start with the easy part and actually just mask these three holes, the body, the body mounts, and the antenna hole. And I just want to cover this because I, I don't want the white coming in when I, when I spray the outside of the white. And what I've learned doing this is uh, you don't want to use too much of this masking tape. And you don't really want to stick it down too hard. Particularly if you're putting this on the outside of the body and the spray over cover is still on. Of course the spray over cover on this car is long gone. Okay, then we'll begin the masking. And I'm trying to put this mask right on underneath of this lip of the of the roof. And I want to go on the downside of it as opposed to the upper side of it. Just to make things a little easier. pretty good if I do say so myself. Now what I'd like to try to do is avoid getting too many of the decals on the tape. Uh, I've already done it. Some of it you can't get away from it. But I'm going to try to get as few decals on the tape as possible just to try to keep it a little protected. And then I'm just going to put this flap underneath. So just a just a piece of paper towel to protect as many decals as I can, and then of course to protect from the spray of the painting. Trim this here. Again, I'm just afraid of ruining any of the decals. So that looks pretty good for me. I don't know how other people do this, but uh, this is what I came up with. Maybe there's a better substance than paper towels, but it seems to work for me. Next step is to shoot the top with some paint.
Here we are at the painting station. I'm running a little low on bright silver. So what I plan on doing is for the first coat using orange and then for the other coats using the gray. Um, it'll still end up gray, but I, I think it'll just be a little darker and uh, I'll use less gray effectively. So here we go, let's give it a shot. Geez, I might be running out of orange as well. Let's let that dry and then we'll do gray. Or bright silver, I mean. 30 minutes have expired. Let's do coat number two. I'm gonna use the bright silver. I really don't wanna open up another can. I hate wasting this stuff, but we'll see how far it goes. I might just have to open up another can. Here we go. It's really easy just painting a small section. I love that. There's the end of coat too. Let's give it a half hour. We'll continue here with the third coat of paint, the second coat of silver. Remember the first was orange. I think that'll be it <clears throat> for the paint. Um, I'm gonna let this dry for 30 minutes and then hit it with some flat clear. We're back at my regular RC workstation. And we see here the body after probably uh, an hour and a half of uh, taking the blue tape and pushing it up against the, the paint on the old incorrect paint on the inside and pulling it away. I did it for an hour and a half. My hands ache from it. And <clears throat> this is how it's ended up. Oh, by the way, there's the gray that we painted the other day. Uh, this is how it's ended up. And what you see here is anywhere where the body can flex a lot, the paint will come off. The body doesn't flex as much up here and it's harder to get that paint off. And um, like I mentioned, I do not want to use solvents. Um, so I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this and what we're gonna do now. Um, so, so I removed that paint, I washed the inside, and what we're gonna do now is go ahead and mask. And we will continue with the same concept of masking effectively the belt line, and then be able to spray so this is part one of the Mini Rover MO3 chassis racing refresh. Come back again in a few weeks for part two of that. But for now, this is Tom with Bryn Mar RC. And as always, thank you for joining. Stay safe and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.